first lesson for today's service is taken from the book of Exodus, chapter 3, verses 1 to 22. I, I read again, the lesson is taken from the book of Exodus, chapter 3, verses 1 to 22. Now Moses kept the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Medium, and he led the flocks to the backside of the desert and came to the mountain of God, even to Hero. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a flame of fire out of the midst of a bush. And he looked, and behold, the bush burned with fire, and the bush was not consumed. And Moses said, I will not turn aside and see this great sight, why this bush is not burnt. And when the Lord saw that, he turned aside to see. God called unto him out of the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses. And he said, Here I am. And he said, Draw, draw not near and put up thy shoes from off thy feet. From, for the place where thou standest is holy ground. Moreover, he said, I am the God of thy father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look upon God. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the afflictions of my people, which are in Egypt, and have heard their cries by reason of their taxmasters, for I know their sorrows. And I, am, and, I am, and I am come down to deliver them out of the hands of the Egyptians, and to bring them up out of the land unto a good land, and a large and a large, and unto a land flowing with milk and honey, unto the place of Canaanites, and the Atitites, and the Amorites, and the Parasites, and the Evites, and the Jebusites. Now, therefore, behold, the cry of the children of Israel is come unto me, and I have also seen the oppression wherewith the Egyptians oppressed them. Come now, therefore, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh, that thou, that thou might, mightest bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. And Moses said unto the Lord, Who am I, that I should go unto Pharaoh, and that I should bring forth the children of Israel out of Egypt? And he said, Certainly, I will be with thee, and this shall be a token unto thee, that I have sent thee. When thou hast brought forth the people out of Egypt, you shall serve God upon this mountain. And Moses said unto God, Behold, when I came unto the children of Israel, and shall say unto them, The God of your father hath sent me unto you. And they shall say to me, What is his name? What shall I say unto them? And God said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thou shalt say unto the children of Israel, I am hath sent me unto you. And God shall Moreover, and God said moreover unto Moses, Thou shalt, thou shalt let thou say unto the children of Israel, The Lord God of, our, of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, has sent me unto you. This is the name forever. This is, the, this is my memorial unto all generations. Go and gather the elders of Israel together. And say unto them, The Lord God of your father, the God of Abraham, of Isaac, and of Jacob, appeared unto me, saying, I have surely visited you, and seen, what, and seen that which is done to you in Egypt. And I have said, I will bring you up out of the afflictions of Egypt, unto the land of the Canaanites, and the Ittites, and the Amorites, and the Perizzites, and the Ephesites, and the Jebusites, unto the land flowing with milk and honey. And they shall hearken to thy voice, and thou shalt come, and thou and thou and thou elders of Israel, unto the king of Egypt. And you shall say unto him, The Lord God of the Hebrews has met with us, and now let us go. We beseech thee, three days' journey into the wilderness, that we may sacrifice to the Lord our God. And I and and I and I I am surely the king of Egypt will not let you go. No, 
nor by a mighty hand. And I will stretch out my hands and smite Egypt with all my wonders, which I will do in the midst thereof. And after that, he will let you go. And I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. And it shall come to pass that then ye, ye go, ye shall not go empty. The last verse. But every woman shall borrow of her neighbor and of her that sojourneth in her house jewels, jewels of gold and jewels of gold, jewels of silver and jewels of gold, and remnants, and shall put them upon their sons and upon their daughters. And you shall spoil, you shall, and you shall spoil the Egyptians. This ends the reading. May God bless His word and bless us all. Amen.